In this video I will show you how to get one of the most important items in Legend of Zelda, the Master Sword. The most iconic weapon in game and the only unbreakable weapon in game, although you can't use it permanently as it does need to recharge every once in a while which takes 10 minutes. Hi guys, Luna here and welcome back to another Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom guide. To get the Master Sword is simple, you simply head straight to it and pull it if you have enough stamina. This requires you to have two full stamina wheels, and that is 20 shrines worth in order to do that. And the sword location is very easy to find as well. It's in the head of the light dragon that appears around the map, and the dragon is there from the very start of the game. Simple enough. Well, finding the dragon is a little tougher, and of course the stamina required is going to take a little time in order to do the 20 shrines. But here is a map of the route of the dragon takes and it circles every few hours of real time and once you've got your stamina you can attempt to pull the master sword at any time without the help of any quests and that's exactly what i did now to reach the dragon it's tough as he is near the top of the map in the video i used an archipelago that was close by to him built a makeshift zone eye device but the easiest one to actually get to him is if you jump off the top of the water temple. You will still need to fly over to him with the Zonai device, but he's much closer than anywhere else. Once you're on his back, you simply fly to his head and you can pull the sword from his head using two full stamina wheels. Now, if you need a little help in order to reach the light dragon, there are two different methods. First, the easiest but longest way is to do the side mission Impa and the Geoglyphs. Started in Hyrule Forest Park, talk to Impa and ride the hot air balloon. There are large images around the map created by Dragon's Tears and you need to find all of them. However, this will take a long time as they're spread across the entire map. But if you're willing to wait, this is easy to do. And at the end of the mission, the dragon spawns and you can get the Master Sword if you have enough stamina. The second method is a lot tougher and requires you to defeat some really tough enemies. And I would not recommend doing this one. In fact, it's much easier to do this mission if you already have the Master Sword. And that's because the end of the mission has a lot of gloom hands and then a boss fight with Phantom Ganon and they're both weak to the Master Sword's light. But if you want to do it, you will be rewarded with the quest recovering the Hero Sword that will mark the Light Dragon's location on the map for you. So in order to help out the Deku Tree, you will need to start by doing the regional phenomenon in Goron City, the one to the northeast of Lookout Landing. Near the start of the mission, you can buy a fire resistant armor for 750 rupees and you will need it. Travel to the Lost Woods and there is a chasm close by to the entrance. Travel inside to the depths. This part of the depths will set you on fire, which is why you need the armor set equipped, so it is necessary. Inside, you can see an area where you will need to go in the distance. You can run directly there or take your time and avoid stuff, but I'm heading right there and lighting the tree root. Next to the route, you will be able to ascend up a grey pillar, and this will take you to the secret Deku Tree inside the Lost Woods. The Deku Tree says he has a sore stomach and you must cure him, so drop inside the chasm inside of the tree and kill a bunch of gloom hands. There's like 20 of them in the end, and it will take around 50 bomb arrows just to kill them all, which is very tough. Then you have a Phantom Ganon boss fight who is actually much easier with hands, since running in circles seems to confuse him. And then after that is done, the Deku Tree will mark the dragon on the map in order for you to do the quest. So guys, that is how you get the Master Sword. You can simply go straight there once you have enough stamina. And if you're looking for them, after every mission I did, I fast traveled to a bunch of different sky towers and looked up to see if the dragon had spawned. Eventually, he will spawn in. If you're having trouble finding the dragon, you can use the Deku Tree method. It will mark it on the map for you. And if you don't want to do that, you can do the Impa and the Geoglyphs mission, which will result in you getting the sword at the end. So three different methods for how to get the Master Sword, the best weapon in game. It doesn't break, but it does run out of charge and the timer on the cooldown is 10 minutes. 
Also, the weapon is worth getting early on because it glows while you are in the depth and does extra damage to gloom enemies. So guys, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe for more Legend of Zelda guys, including one to go with this, how to get the Hylian Shield, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. The sword, your sword. She is the key to destroying the Demon King. He defeated her before, but a long slumber will heal these grievous wounds. And when you two next face the Demon King, You will have my strength to help you through her. Link, you are our final hope. I pray. This sword reaches you in the future.